are back in Cape Town again. I'm, uh, I'm so glad to be back here. Cape Town is just awesome. Such an awesome place. Yeah, looking for some nighttime scenery. Hopefully we're gonna get better than last time because we're not in lockdown anymore. Um, one good thing is I can at least get a drink now. So we're only here for a couple of, a couple of nights, but thinking rather than messing around too much on the first night, I'm just gonna make use of of this probably bust out the uh, bust out the 50 mil. I think it's gonna fit quite nicely in the in the frame. As we know, the wide angle always makes everything look really really small. So let's uh, let's get a 50 mil out and just uh, take a quick test shot from, from on top of our rooftop. Just stuck the 50 mil on the D7100. I'm just gonna just rattle a couple of frames off. Just point it vaguely up in that direction, and we will see what we get. So, framing actually doesn't look bad, but there's a couple of all these street lights just causing some issues. So I'm just have to just dial things down a little bit. Sodium street lights are just causing too much sort of too much too much glare in the bottom half of the image. So if we go up a little higher, try and block them all off with this canopy thing we're under at the moment. Um, yeah, see if that makes a difference. So it doesn't really seem to have much of an, an effect to get rid of that. It doesn't really seem to impact that, that haze too much, kind of blocking it out. I think there's just too much too much light contrasting against the dark of the mountain above. I thought I would just try maybe blocking it out a little bit, so I was just kind of waving my, my wallet, which is black, just kind of in on the bottom part of the frame a little, and I don't know. I'll be interested to see the results of those ones. So yeah, it's really cold. I've, I've not got shoes on and my feet are freezing. But surprisingly, there's still a lot of mozzies and stuff around. So I'm gonna call it a day for now and uh, we'll see what we can what we can get up to tomorrow. More Cape Town. So I'm staying in Bantry Bay, which is kind of uh, west, western Cape Town, and I don't exactly know where I'm going to go and shoot tonight. <laughs> so I'm, I'm heading uh, heading south through Clifton at the moment, and then we'll get to Camps Bay in a couple of minutes, and after that, I'm not really sure. I had some oh. A rat in the road. Ugh. So last time I came to Cape Town, I got a little bit of drone footage from this point of view. Insert footage. So that's sort of Victoria Road, and you can see lions head in the distance. 
Camps Bay and then uh, Table Mountain so with the cloud over the top of it and I'm thinking shooting from that sort of area I don't know it might work it might be cool so we're gonna just see where we end up along here I've got nowhere specific in mind I'd like I'd like to shoot from that angle it's, uh, it's quarter past nine the night is my Atlantic oyster so to speak so we'll just see what happens South Africans aren't really known for their um, speed in uh, getting things done. They, they don't. They don't hurry. Apart from occasionally when they're driving. Not always when they're driving, but occasionally when they're driving. So of course, when I'm looking for a specific place to park, and you know, I'm only slightly familiar with this road. I've only driven it half a dozen times, but never in the dark. There's like three cars up my ass as I'm trying to find out where to pull over. Let's see. Um, so I've bottomed out this car like three times now. I'm uh, not used to driving a, a saloon car. Oh, it's the wrong one. It's not even the turn off I wanted. Back. The other way. Up the hill. Ah, it's this one. Ah, got it. In this particular spot, I'm just gonna, just gonna see if there's a, an angle that looks like it's worth worth shooting. I mean, it's a bit of a it's a busy road, so. I guess, I mean, there's a possibility of light trails and things. Um, but, uh, let's just see, just see if there's an angle worth, uh, worth looking at. Well, it's, uh, it's an image anyway. <laughs> Whether or not it's anything to write home about, who knows. So I think I'm going to try. So that shot, same old story really. The, you know, the interest in the, in the distance is kind of lost with a wide angle. So I might shoot at 50mm, see, see how that comes out. So shooting the lion's head again. Okay, so actually what I've decided to do, I'm gonna move the car. Yeah, I might just get the car in a better position. And I might just shoot some light trails. Um, mountains, stars, cars going past. I don't know, can't hurt. Uh, I'm just taking some photos. Uh. 